Hey guys, so today I'm going to review the Brooks Cambium C17 saddle. I've got both models, the one with the cutout and what the one without. I've ridden them both quite a lot, so I'm going to let you know what I think about them. So let's get into it. The Brooks Cambium C17, in general, very comfortable. And you'd probably expect that. It's a slightly wider seat, a very soft sort of... The, the, the natural vulcanized rubber really takes a lot of the vibration out of the road. So I find it to be a very comfortable seat. Uh, these are the narrowest you can get. They're about 167, I believe, millimeters, somewhere around that. They're both the same width. You can buy a slightly narrower model. I think it's a C15, which is around 155, which might be more suitable for a road bike. One thing I did find about these is they're probably too wide for me, for my sort of normal liking. That's... I did have an issue where I was sliding forward on them and I had that problem with both of them and I wondered if that was something to do with them being quite wide and I just wasn't really in a good position at the very back so it was pushing me forward where my maybe my legs had better movement I'm not too sure the rails on the bottom they're steel so these are a fairly heavy saddle they're not super racy same with the one with the cutout. They're exactly the same besides the cutout. So they're probably not the best race saddle. They have a nice aesthetic to them though. I really like how they look. I mean, these, the rivets kind of look cool. They don't bother. They have never really bothered me on the saddle. Like I thought maybe, because I actually, if you can see, they sort of sit proud of the saddle. And I thought there might be a chance that they would actually bother me. But I never noticed that. Now the reason I actually have both is I originally bought the cutout model and then I saw uh, just let the, the normal model for sale on Marketplace for a fairly good price, so I just bought that too. Now the one of the obvious differences that I noticed straight away is because this has the cutout, it's a lot, has like a lot more give in the rubber. If you can kind of see that, it's a little bit hard to show you. There's a lot more give. Then in the model without it, like that has a lot less, which I thought might be a good thing, you know, it might make it more comfortable, but I actually, I didn't like it. I really didn't like the model with the cutout. Normally I am a fan of cutouts, but I can't help but feel that this is only in here because it's more of like a trending thing. And I really found the model without it was more comfortable. I found that I tended to sink into the cutout quite a lot um you know like my my shorts and like you know uh like my my skin my soft tissue would would sort of sink right in and it, it was just quite uncomfortable so yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend it i mean saddles are obviously like a personal preference thing but i wouldn't really recommend the model with the cutout i'd recommend definitely recommend the model without it i did find this really comfortable um the only reason it's really off my bike is because I'm testing out a specialized toupee at the moment. One sort of interesting thing with these saddles is when they're sort of level, they're not quite flat. If you can kind of see that, that would sort of be level there. And you can see there's definitely like a dip in the middle. Originally, I was running it with the bars, like the rails, sorry, flat. You sort of end up with a bit like that. Brooks actually recommends you run it tilted up a little bit. That was kind of weird for me. It looks pretty odd on the bike when it's sort of tilted up too much. A lot of people on lines in the forums and stuff like that, I saw that they were running them, yeah, tilted up quite a bit even. And for me, that seems a little weird. And I mean, I never reached out to Brooks, but you look on their website and they don't really give you much detail as to why that is. I'm sure there's some kind of reason, but it just seems counterintuitive to anything I've learnt about bike fitting. Normally you would want the nose level or maybe tilted forward slightly. So it must, yeah, there must be something to it. I just don't know. The vulcanized rubber is pretty cool. It has a nice feel to it. It's, I could, there's like a slight sort of abrasive feel to it, but it's very slight. And I never had an issue with that riding these saddles. I suppose it would start to wear out, but I haven't put a lot of use into these yet. 
the edges are sort of look fray, but I think it's just like that from the factory. It's not, they're not actually damaged. They're just, it's, you know, not the neatest edge, I suppose. It's a really nice looking saddle at the back there with the logo. They've got the little mounts as well. In general, it's a really well-made and nice looking saddle. Um, I would recommend these saddles. I'd love to try out the slightly narrower C15, I think it is. So I think that would be a comfortable saddle. And yeah, if, if anyone knows why these saddles aren't flat, let me know, because I'd love to, I'd love to know. Like it seems to me like this, this Brooks saddle, they should have just made it. You know, the top should have just been nicely flat. That's, that's what I would have done, but it's got to be a reason behind it. Just haven't found too much about it yet. I couldn't say how these compare to other Brooks saddles. All I know is yes, they are comfortable. They're a good price too. So, you know, for about 100 to 130, I think US, they're definitely worth it for the money. Go the model that isn't cut out, in my opinion, if, you, if you're, you know, having to choose. Um, maybe you can go to your local bike store and even test them out. I bought this online, so I didn't get the chance to test it. But it is what it is. They're good saddles. I definitely recommend them. Are they the best saddles? Are they going to save all your issues? Maybe, maybe not. You just got to try them out. But you got to recognize that they're a heavier saddle. And because they have like a lot more flex, you might be losing a few watts of power. So maybe not the best for your race bike. I had them on a touring bike. And, and again, like I felt, I felt really comfortable on this one. Not so much on this one with the cutout. And, you know, I was riding all day for about five days and it was good it was good besides sort of sliding forward which could have been a bike fit thing it was really good um so yeah i would even chuck this back on my bike especially if i was doing something long distance um i reckon it's a really good touring saddle and it's great to have an option that you know is cruelty free this is obviously non-leather um it's good to see that from brooks i'd love to see some more options like surely they can make a, a faux leather model of their like most traditional most popular saddle That'd be sick to see. But I mean, obviously, they're probably trying to up the game a little bit with this, making it look a little bit more, you know, 2020. You know, it's got like the nice sort of look to it as opposed to the, you know, you're familiar with the the leather saddles. They have that old aesthetic to them. Not the prettiest, but, you know, you're not really looking for a saddle to be pretty, in my opinion. You want it to be comfortable. If you're not comfortable on your current saddle, try one of these. That said though, if you're not comfortable, it's probably something to do with a bad bike fit. So if you don't know much about bike fit, if you haven't had one done already, I would definitely recommend you look into that first, find a local fitter that's reputable and see if you can get set up on your bike better before you even worry about trying to sort out the saddles. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you got something out of it. If you liked, the vi if you, you know, liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up got any questions leave a comment you know i've still got these saddles so i can answer your questions that you have and yeah tell me what you think about these saddles you know do you like them do you hate them what's your favorite saddle i mean i'd love it some more saddle recommendations because i feel like i'm still trying to find that perfect saddle and look i'm trying to get to 100 subscribers so for this video if you've made it this far hit subscribe and i'll be doing more reviews and some more bike related videos as well so thanks a lot for watching